Hello, everybody, and welcome to an early morning here on Maz. That's what we're going with, remember? Maz. The uh, full name of the map is in the title of the video. This area definitely, uh, if it's not known for its sunrises, it probably should be. Yeah, we got a little bit more money in the bank uh, compared to when we left last night. Uh, I ended up uh, loading two of the most horrendous, sorry, I should say one of the most horrendous uh, loads of wood to take to the to the sawmill. It was I think I made about 14 grand from it and I ended up having to take the long way and then I took the second one I, I definitely got a little bit gun shy and uh, it only uh, I made about 10 grand from that. Man these things are so close. What is it now? September? God probably by what March we should be good. All right so currently sitting I don't understand this water one because I don't have any water in stock so to speak. I only put water into the uh, production. So I don't know what, where this water is coming from. So ignore the water. Uh, currently, we are sitting with 5,000 liters of oats with a street value of 2,500 bucks. We've got uh, 1,900 liters of grapes. We are going to have to find a solution for uh, to produce something. That, well, we want to produce grape juice, basically, is what it is. And I think we saw one of those small buildings uh, has that option. So we'll, we'll get that maybe at some point today. Well, obviously, some olives and some sunflowers, but those are getting fed down to the bottom here. Uh, water, forget that, silage. So we're now, uh, we've fermented almost 70,000 liters of uh, of silage, which is pretty cool. Oh, that's everything, I guess, because, yeah, it would say grass here otherwise, I believe. Oh, no, no, sorry. It would say straw because we're not, uh, yeah, we're, we're fermenting. I thought I had more. Anyways, we'll go, we'll go down there and we'll double check to see what's actually there. Right now we have 70,000 liters of silage. Uh, with a uh, uh, a street value of uh, almost 12 grand and a max value of around 13. So if we wanted to sell that, we could. Sunflower oil, 300 liters, about almost 400 liters of uh, olive oil. So, you know, that's that's uh, appreciating. Yeah, okay, so this is saying, yeah, I didn't think so. So we still have 36,000 liters of straw fermenting and we have about 70,000 liters of silage. So that's pretty good, that's good news. There's about 100,000 liters. I thought that's what we left with yesterday. Yeah, see this, I, I don't put water in this and it says that there's 30, oh, I wonder if it's, do you think it could be taking from this? Everything's looking uh, lush and fantastic here. 50,000 liters of water in there. I kind of went crazy putting water into my, uh, into this stuff. 70,000 liters of water, wait a minute. Okay, that number makes sense to me, 35.2. Why does that have 70,000 liters of water? So I didn't put 70,000 liters of water into this. What did this say? An even 50. Which I bet if we look, that's probably the max that's allowable in these. I wonder what the hell's going on. Is that silo somehow distributing? Is this, this doesn't need water. I don't know. I'm not going to argue. You know what? It would be, I'd be more perplexed if it was uh, leaving me with zero. So to, to have a bit of a balance in this, okay. So um, as much as I, so once I once I ended up earning some money, I uh, started trying to think, well, maybe I should start landscaping this. And it was everything I could do not to come over here and start landscaping this. Um, but we're gonna save our money for now and we'll, we'll do that after. I think we're gonna probably pick this one up quickly and then do both and see if my, uh, so this is like a second, uh, a revisit of, of what we we're gonna do yesterday. That guy doesn't look like the kind of guy you want to mess around with. But yeah, we might as well get an early start here. What will the day present? I don't know. Um, there's a there's a number of harvesting contracts, but we did that yesterday. I don't really want to go and harvest again. What a great way of uh, of getting um, of getting the straw to put into the uh, fermenter. Let's go with the same big bag we had yesterday. Where are these fields? I don't I don't mind as much like the harvesting is funny because you got to like get your the harvester and you got to get the chase vehicle and everything over to the field. And then you got to go and deliver the, the what you take off the field. Uh, this is good. You just basically go to the point. OK, one's here. Oh, they're both right there. OK, so we're going to head straight down, not make the turn and keep going straight. Yeah, so here you basically just get yourself there, do your job, and then you're done. Yeah, so the uh, I, I imagine sort of the the balance of the harvesting contracts are happening now. Uh, the root crops are out. You can talk. You can see this carrot harvests, uh, 
uh, potato harvests, and then some of the grains. Obviously, there's some uh, still a couple sorghum harvests and another oat harvest today. Full coverage is not necessarily the name of the game. Completion of contract is what we're after. Using the least amount of product. I imagine it's only going to be just a tiny little shot over here and we should be done. Done. It's funny that somebody actually pays you to do this. All right, so remember, the plan is to empty the fertilizer while we're at the shop because that's typically where we're going to need to fill it. And then we're going to sort of stockpile some fertilizer there for uh, future jobs. F future of our own jobs, not future contracts. All right. It's quick, quick, uh, like I say, quick and dirty. All right, we're back here. I'm surprised I haven't seen, uh, I, I did I did actually, uh, for the first time, kind of keep my eyes open while I was driving. Not oh, not literally uh, keep my eyes open, like, like I keep them closed normally, but I was looking around. There you go. And that's a thousand bucks. Almost tempting to go buy a plow and then just go plow this guy's field with the tractor that we just used. Okay, right there. So look, so if there's no, if there's nothing in the tractor, then we don't get reimbursed. But my guess is the, yeah, the thousand bucks. So if I go here now, reimbursement. So I, I paid a thousand dollars for the fertilizer and he's going to pay us back $1,600. So that's okay by me. <laughs> that was kind of weird. Just fell on my face. Uh, okay. Well, we might as well take a crack at these. Uh, actually, sorry, before we do the logs, let's get something down so we can start producing some grape juice. It's going to be another one of these small productions. I'm going to just activate the, um, so it shows the triggers or the interactive zone markers, as they call them in the business. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So there's grape juice. So you, what, what can you make? You can make grape juice or you can make raisins or you can make ketchup or salad. Well, we'll take a look and see what all that's about. I want to say it was Zorch Farming that in Comlands was making the salad. I don't know how that went for him, so we may we may find out ourselves. So we don't really have to worry about uh, dumping space to dump things in here because we're not. Um, most of what we're doing is just going to be distributing into it, um, but we do want to have some room just in case at some point we come through here and want to. Uh, obviously want to dump something into it. I know, I know. I said I wasn't going to landscape. I wasn't out going to spend the money on landscaping. So what do raisins sell for and what do, and can I even sell them on the map? Raisins sell for as high as $1,600. Grape juice sells for as high as like $1,700. So you know what? Maybe just activate both of them, right? Although maybe we never get the chance to actually sell them. <laughs> we, I don't know how many, how, how much grapes we're going to be producing out of our, out of our garden there. So mixed salad is a combination of tomatoes and lettuce and literally tomatoes goes right into tomato sauce. Okay. So mixed salad, let's just take a quick peek. It was probably higher up, wasn't it? Mixed salad right there. No selling point. Perfect. Yeah. Good. And tomato sauce. I don't even think it's on the list. Uh, okay. Well, I don't think we need to worry about that yet, but at some point we're going to need to obviously uh, put in a little sell point uh, so we can sell the products. I know the hydroponic greenhouse does some good work. We would have to buy the chemicals. 
But man, this thing really pumps out. You know what? I guess we should probably do that, eh? So if I put this in, we can go and purchase... We'll just go and purchase the... Uh, I think it's what? Herbicide or something that goes into it? Or liquid fertilizer or something? All right, I think we're going to stash this one just in the back corner here. Uh, I know this might seem like a lot, but honestly... We're going to need some of this stuff just to get things uh, rolling for ourselves. We've made the money by selling the wood. I mean, that's the whole intention is to sell stuff and make money, right? I want to make sure that um, like winter is going to hit here. We're not we're not farmers yet. We're literally just people that live in the forest. <laughs> we're, we're so far. We're just forest dwellers. We're not uh, we're not farmers. So we don't have any of those uh, those things that farmers have like crops, you know, oh, there you go. I'm. I'm landscaping which it's not even really landscaping i was just literally painting out some dirt all right i'll leave it i'll leave it i'll leave it except for that and that and that and i mean it would make sense that if you were running up the lanes here you'd probably get some dirt all right it, didn't, it, didn't, it hasn't cost us a ton we'll put the, we, we'll save we won't put any gravel down yet we gotta put water in here and we want to put so we're gonna activate uh Tomatoes and lettuce. We're not going to activate the strawberries. We're going to set those to distribute. I know I got to get the material still. Okay, so those are going to go to distribute. Uh, um, excuse me, uh, grapes. Oh yeah, okay, so tomato sauce. Activate, mix salad, activate. So everything's activated in there. Okay, so we're going to go and grab ourselves. I guess we'll get an IBC for... We'll hit the store and go get an IBC of um, liquid fertilizer. So we'll start with 1,000 liters, I guess. We'll bring that over and we'll see how quickly we burn through that. And it's So it's entirely possible... Because we're in two days per month, it's entirely possible that we're going to... You know, let's say we blitz the logs that we have cut and we get all that sold off and there's no contracts or anything. We may actually split this episode over. Uh, sorry, we may split this episode over today and being the last day of September and and October, the first day of October. I'll have to see what happens. we will got to get some fuel too, it looks like. All right, let me buy this uh, liquid liquid fertilizer. Here's why I find things so funny. <laughs> Here's again, look, $1,200. Buys you 750 liters of liquid fertilizer. Is that not 1,500 liters of liquid fertilizer for the same price? <laughs> okay, so far that's the best I've seen. $1,200 for 1,500 liters. All right, so uh, I can buy 12 for $1,200. I can buy 1,500 liters, or for $1,600, I can buy a thousand liters. I swear, man, do your shopping around. It always pays off. What's that, like $1,600 per thousand liters? I think this weird barrel situation, if unless I'm reading this wrong and it turns out not to be what I think it is, liquid fertilizer barrels. That's the steal right there. We've spent $1,200 on 1,500 liters of liquid fertilizer. And it looks cool, but I think the capacity in the uh, greenhouse is 3,000 liters. So by the time we get over there, this is gonna disappear fast. Watch, I can't use it for some reason. Man, nice day for open air. Remember that poor lady that was helping us yesterday? <laughs> she got soaked. These guys must think these are beer kegs. Everybody's following me down the road. So like 8.25 in the morning, where's the keg party? All right, so I think I can take this right over to... Oh, let's be very careful that we don't drop this into another... I've done this before where I passed by a passed by something that also accepted the fertilizer and then uh, it ended up taking a bunch of it. All right, yes, I did feel super smart. <clears throat> okay, well, what I'm gonna try is not recommended, but we'll wash it out really well. I wonder if I can fill the water container from those and then put the I think, I, I think you, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> After I fill the water tanker uh, with the liquid fertilizer, then perhaps I can then put it into the, uh, the greenhouse. You, you knew that's what I meant. 
Okay, so we know that it, it does accept things, which we, we now know. Yeah, okay, so we're definitely gonna wash this tank out. So basically you just can't dump that directly into the, uh, the greenhouse. <laughs> Go figure, eh? There. I guess it's not the end of the world, because if I bring... I don't know, let's say I bring the next three loads over here of water, then I've somewhat... I'm putting water in and liquid fertilizer in there, so I'll have somewhat washed washed away the uh, liquid fertilizer, right? It's not like I'm, I'm feeding this to animals or anything, or uh, drinking it myself. But you can really tell that uh, water, the weight of the water really affects this uh, tractor when you're driving. Alright, so we'll have to keep our eyes on the liquid fertilizer. So, uh, why don't you guys go grab a snack or something and I'm just gonna run a couple laps here. I'll be uh, back momentarily. Okay, so tomatoes and lettuce are being made over there. Olives and grapes are being made here. Sunflowers are being made there. All of it's being pumped into the factory, whatever, the production points here. Let's drop this, we'll pick up our weight and then I guess we'll go try to get rid of some wood. Okay, what did I do over here? My gosh. All right, let me get this. I gotta get these, this trailer away from the log pile, first of all. Am I gonna smash my head on that one log? I feel like um, investing in a... So, never before did I understand why you would ever want a way station in this game. Like, why would you want to put a way station on your farm, but... It's actually maybe not a bad idea when you want to determine whether or not uh, something is too heavy. So once you kind of figure out exactly what's what your tractor is capable of, uh, a way station would be great because <laughs> then you'd know whether you're going to make it to the sell point or not. These are like um, weird times around a farm where there's stuff to do, but it's not necessarily like your traditional farm stuff. Which is why I have a hard time calling what we've got going on here a farm. Remember we went in the last episode and looked at that one cell point up by the store? Um, and it was like some guy's backyard. That was the that was the cell point. Uh, how would you get this trailer in there? Like, had we gone, had we actually made it there? I never would have been able to actually get down the guy's driveway. I'm kind of wondering if I should take that one super long one and then cut it in half when we get there. So it's it's a more respectable length. First gear, tire slide. Yeah, we could be good. Yeah, this is this is not a heavy one at all. <laughs> this, this is gonna be a small, small payout. Oh, the sorghum's harvested. I think that was what was there, right? Was it wheat? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I kind of had a feeling. The log was right behind my head. Yep. <laughs> oh, $9,700. Okay, so that, like, that caused me next to no problems. I got back and then I just started loading up here, so I figured, well, I might as well get some of the tedious work done before we uh, reconnect here, so just about to where I'm comfortable. I'm definitely uh, suffering from some sticky log syndrome. As tempting as it is to grab that log back there and throw it underneath the, uh, I'll throw it on my forks on the way up there. I'm just, let's just take this learn what we uh remember what we learned from the last time we ran up here which was there's no uh, sense overloading because it takes you twice as long yes yeah, so i figured we'll get i don't know we'll get through a few of these anyways it's 10 14 right now on uh second day of september we'll get through a few of these a uh, few of these loads anyways and then kind of assess the situation 
All right, we've arrived. It won't be nine grand. Yeah, 8,800. Also, uh, I mean, there's a chance the prices could be going down too. I never even thought to check that. And I'm also half thinking like, sorry, what's the purpose of selling wood right now? Let's take a look and see what the price is. Okay, the wood is at, uh, oh no, we're there. The price is kind of always the same anyway, so we're, we're okay there. Potatoes, sorghum, sorghum, beets. Oh, it's a tiny little one. We'd walk away with like $700. Field 184, 184 right there. Kind of in that pocket. There's like a little pond back there. It's kind of cool. Well, and you know what? Maybe what we'll do is um, let's go drop the trailer. And uh, so it's 10:30 right now. This might be a good time. Wait, did I miss the turn? <laughs> uh, I don't want to take the trailer on a trip here. I was gonna say it might be a nice time to go for a drive and just quickly check out the map which I think we're going to do, but I don't want to do it with the trailer. Plus, I think we might take the, uh, I think the, um, the Gator, I think, has a better top speed, so we might take that. All right, let's go get the Gator. So I am not familiar with where everything is on this map, but I think up here is where we saw that farm because we were on this road here and I swear we saw the farm up here somewhere. So maybe what we'll do is we'll go, we'll go up there and we'll just kind of make one lap around, around the map. All right, I think we're gonna go rip down this way. We'll go past the, uh, we'll go, we'll take the same little road we keep taking, the nightmare. Actually, no, we're not gonna do that. We'll go, we'll go clockwise around the map. We'll see what we can find. I wonder if there's any anything for sale. We'll just see what we come across. I, what I'd really like to, to know is there a farm out here that would work well for us? And then it, and what will the price be? So we'll have something to work towards, but it's not this season, obviously. So these are just look like a bunch of homes out here. Yeah, it's like certain places have like little barns, but they're not, I wouldn't necessarily call them farms. That looks nice. Looks like maybe they have animals over here. I don't know. Something like that. this lot it's like grass lot with some forest let's go check the real estate magazine oh yeah look at that just a big square grass lot I mean if you took care of all the trees in the middle cleaned it all up this could be a pretty nice plot good place to build maybe if there's no farm that, you, that we can see out here then uh then yeah that's what we'll have to do eventually see there's some buildings over there here let's rip over to this building over there and then we'll come back oh, okay this we've been down here this is our house let's go see what this big hill is over here we live at our house <laughs> our tent is over there are not even a campground yeah like what is this hill What is this, like a little quarry? Oh, it's the Gorka. How am I supposed to know what that is? <laughs> I'm assuming you can come in here maybe with a shovel and take 
stones. Probably have to buy them. We'll just take them. Okay, well, let's take this laneway here. Oh, that's another interesting kind of lot right here. For $36,000. We could come over here. There's a nice building lot right here. And then over here, there's a grass field. Uh, I will say the edge of the map looks really good on this. Owned by nobody. I mean, it's the, the map edge, obviously, but that's interesting. There's a river down here. Oh, it's a nice little crossing. Is it a crossing? Yeah, we're in the right vehicle for it. Are we ending up in somebody's yard? Uh, speaking of you, what is it? Cows. Oh, we're, we're off the map. Somehow we've uh, found a portal off the map. It's a great map edge. <laughs> you don't even know that you're off the edge. So the stuff off to the side there is not part of the map. We'll go take a look. Uh, well, we've sort of been up in that corner, I guess. I don't really want to be all the way up there. Let's take this, uh, we'll take this cut. We'll see what some of the farms look like. Wait, this cut? Oh, yeah. Okay, I see. <laughs> it takes us right over there. And this links back up to, uh, back up to our farm. Well, let's go. I want to go over to that other, other corner of the map there so I can see what, uh, what those silos were. Somebody hunting back there is a, a tower. Huge forest here. Uh, so if you cut in here, there's a road here. You can take that back down to our place. Our, our place, I say it like it's a, you can take that back down to our tent. Oh, easy, man. I fully put my brakes on. People around here are crazy. I'm just gonna go over here. Oh, there's a collectible there. Yeah, the drivers are bad. Oh, look, there's a sclep. Here's another yard right here. Check this out. This could make for a nice little farm here. You got a bunch of little fields, which you just make one field, I guess. You're right next to the sclep. It's right there. Obviously, it's going to depend on... Oh, oh, sorry. It's going to depend on what's for sale in the spring. And then you get into some bigger fields over here. We got a road that heads out to what looks like a wind farm. Oh, that guy must be going to the sclep. All right, what do we got over here? Some bigger fields. Future home. So like a little convenience store here. That looks like the fire hall. So 
back over here. Let's go see what's over here. Other than the obvious, which is a big tower. Oh, the animal dealer. And at some point we'll do something with animals, but I'm not in a hurry, that's for sure. Very unusual architecture around here. Oh. Road must be closed for uh, maintenance or something. Nice little garden in there. Yeah, that looks like a lot like wood back there. All right, so we got a little laneway through here. Not sure that we learned much other than that there's some nice little flat plots that we can build on if uh, that one farm with the grass in the middle of the town there doesn't check out. Little collectible right here. I wonder if this is like the only big farm in the area. Oh, this is like a big stuff going on here. What the heck is this place? Everything's locked. <laughs> Which it probably should be. This stops random people from driving up and trying to open the doors. <laughs> oh, I can't get in there. So, wow, so you have a, a, like a modern house. You have a silo. Cows. I mean, I'm not totally uh, pumped about the layout, but... Still kind of cool. Almost a hundred grand, ninety-one thousand dollars. We did some work over here already. I think we plowed for a farmer. So they've already got, uh, they got the ground. I plowed it and then they, they've obviously uh, thrown down some lime. I don't, I doubt they put seeds in there yet. There's a hunting tower up there. Big forest back there. How do you get there? Let's go up. We'll go up here and make a left. And then we'll just go check out this forest land over here that you can... That you can purchase. Oh, that wasn't too bad a turn. Yeah, so check this out. So... On the map, it almost looks like crown land, like nobody would be able to buy it, but no. Wow, this is pretty nice. Yeah, there's a huge forest in front of me. Oops, sorry. Oh, well, I guess in the long run, we just sort of have to de determine what kind of farmers we want to be. I don't think I want to buy that $100,000 cow farm that we just saw I'm probably more inclined to buy a little piece of land and and uh, one of those flat kind of building lots and and do exactly that wow that's a big building there holy crap all right we're back here 
Let's go across here and then we'll go straight up through the woods. Instead of going down to the, uh, the sawmill over there, we'll turn here. Oop, that turn came up quickly. See what's up here and then we'll head back to our yard, I guess, and figure out what we want to do with the rest of the day. It's a beautiful afternoon. Oh, sorry, it's morning still, but it'll, it'll be afternoon soon. Where does this road go out? I don't think I've noticed this before. Oh, <laughs> come on. This thing can be difficult. Well, I think we may head up to the tent and grab a quick nap. It's noon right now, so maybe grab a quick nap, a little bite to eat. I don't know, if we reconvene somewhere around 2.30 or 3 o'clock, we'll see if... Uh, if if uh, if it'd be great if we woke up to like four or five fertilizer contracts, um, then we could knock those out before we go to sleep uh, and 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 roll into roll into October. So let me do that. I'm just gonna go to sleep for uh, I don't know. You know what? Give me give me till uh, it's almost noon. Give me to one thirty. All right. I uh, slept in just a little bit there. Man, I got a big rest. Well, I think uh, what actually we're gonna do so we could sit here and sell logs all day long if we wanted. Um, but I don't really want to do that right now, and that's kind of the only thing we have going on right now. The same, the same contracts are all still in play, um, which is fine. Uh, but I don't really want to go and I, see. I think what's going to happen: these these harvesting contracts are going to be done, and then we're going to run into probably a, some. I don't know whether we'll have to cultivate or plow some of the fields for these guys. So we may pick up some of those contracts. And then at that point, we got to just figure out ways to make money. So by the time the spring hits, we can get some fields together and then uh, and then start start farming. But anyways, yeah, I think what we'll do is uh, let me go. I got a couple of things. I'm going to go write some letters to some old friends. And uh, basically, I'm just going to write letters. And then uh, I'm going to see you in October. All right. Welcome to October. A little, uh, little chilly this morning, eight degrees Celsius. It's all good. I lined up a couple things for us to do this morning. We, uh, we're gonna start over, actually, two fields right next to the store, basically, are uh, ready to harvest. One's corn and one is uh, sunflowers. So we're gonna go and do that here right away. I'm noticing something odd. I wonder, it's got to have something to do with the proximity to one of those silos. There's something weird going on here because this still shows I have 70,000 liters of, of water where this one is like I've been, I've had to put water in this. This one's normal. And then if I go to the open air garden. It's still showing 50,000. Now, uh, sunflowers have been produced, so it looks like it's working, but... I don't know where this is. Uh, maybe it's coming from the hose. Like I don't really don't know. I don't understand where the where that's coming from. But we'll have to keep an eye on it, anyways. There's a couple of things that we could sell today. I mean, we have about two about two thousand um, dollars per product in in some of the things that we could sell, but maybe not not worth uh, doing that right yet. Uh, you can probably tell behind us. There's one of the fields that's ready to go, and then there's another one like literally right around the corner. It's kind of an awkward entrance to this field, isn't it? It's funny, uh, so like sort of playing this uh, in this way, this series, I, my mind is kind of going crazy on what to do next. Uh, like literally sitting there thinking, well, well uh, normally what you would do is you would, I, I would typically have probably got some fields going and got them planted. And, but I, I think, uh, you know, spring's going to be a good time for that. And I figured we'd have some time to kind of make some money over the winter with uh, with some of the some of the, like the the greenhouses and that kind of thing, which is good. But then there's not a lot of stuff to do. So then you're sort of trying to figure out, well, what do I do? Because I don't want to just like fast forward to the to the spring. This is a, uh, a very very much a contrast from uh, what's going on on uh, on Comlands. <laughs> This is more of a calm land here where things aren't, uh, there's really not a lot of push here. 
compared to uh, compared to there. Oh my god. Why do people hate farmers here? Like, these guys are accelerating when they see me. Doesn't mean I want to turn them off yet, but it'd be nice if they stopped torpedoing me. So this is a very awkward field. <laughs> it's kind of just so weird the way it's just shoehorned in behind the store there with a tiny little access road. Alright, 60% complete, that's good. Last pass. Been a pretty uneventful harvest. It's a nice plain field, no hills. Alright, step one, unload this guy. Step two... I don't know. <laughs> We're either gonna go and sell this corn immediately. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll sell the corn, we'll go directly to the next field, and then we'll get the combine here. We'll go to the next field, and then once all of that's done and we have the rest of the stuff delivered, we'll take this tractor and rip over to grab our uh, forge wagon. So let's do that. We'll throw the lid on there just in case. Yeah, it's a really nice October morning. You can see the things are like sort of a little more blue than, uh, than the orange hues of summer. So I swear they change the coloring depending on the, the season. Which is cool, because it really gives you a sort of more of a feel of the fall. Oh, 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 oh. I turned too sharp there, that was my bad. Oh, another sclap. I wonder which sclap is better. The ditch is a little bigger than I thought there. I think we can make it. Oh yeah. This is a Kubota. All right, I wonder if we're gonna get a bonus for uh, delivering more corn than we were supposed to. Oh, we got a uh, $321 bonus. jump for that one. Oh, look what happens when you... Oh, I was gonna say, look what happens. The uh, mouse freezes after you collect your collectible, but it was only because it wanted me to hit the button to release it. Anyways, there's our daily thousand dollars, our daily dose of money. That was a nice casual drive through the countryside when you're putting along at 20 kilometers an hour. This is no cars on this road. Now we're gonna get down to business. So sunflowers, uh, not, if we do get any straw, it's gonna be very, very little, but I might as well take it anyways. I mean, at the beginning here, beggars can't be choosers, right? We'd be the beggars. Ooh, tiny little field. Nice thing about that is, uh, it's like, we'll be able to, unload once god these fields are crazy like so is this i mean i think i said this but is it actually like this in real life like how do you it must be one farmer who owns a bunch of these connected fields like imagine that imagine the field next to this was owned by somebody else like you'd want to really make sure that uh, nobody's driving in your field all right just like that we're coming to the end of this sunflower harvest uh, once we get this done, we'll take a quick peek just to see if anything else has popped up in the area. I mean, I've seen fields that look like they're ready to harvest. It's just a question of whether or not the farmer is going to do it themselves or whether they're going to hire someone like me. All right, let's go unload this and then we'll take a quick peek just to see what the world's doing. Who's paying for what?
It is dawning on me that, uh, that it, this will be a, a real challenge at the beginning here. Short of obviously clearing every single, and that's what we're gonna end up doing, I guess, for the winter is we'll cut, we'll cut every single tree off of our, uh, off of our yard there. And who knows, I mean, maybe once all the trees are cut and we have some productions down by the little road there, maybe what we'll end up doing is just, you know, plowing the whole thing up and making it a, me a meadow and then and then sort of going leaving it at that i said i wasn't gonna farm it but maybe we just make it a meadow okay so we have these two now there is beets carrots carrots soybeans but we'd need a different header now carrots sugar beets red beets carrots 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 and red beets no additional uh contracts for for this equipment anyways So what we'll do now is we'll go sell this for the farmer and then uh, we won't tell them we're done and we'll go grab our forge wagon and come over here and steal all the straw. Okay, so what did we get? $300 bonus off the last one. $300 bonus on this and a $17 penalty. All right, and we're off. Well, it's gotta be one load for sure. I don't know what to expect. It doesn't look like much, I'll tell you that much. These little tractors are fast though. Imagine if I had this on the, uh, on our open cab tractor there, how slow it would be. I'm ripping around at 22 kilometers an hour. Oh, we're almost 30%. Let me get one load off of here. 99, there's 100. All right, 13,000 liters. I think the rest of it's probably one more load and then we'll go over and pick what, look, the sunflower looks like it's even less, um, even less yield. Man, a few close calls on the highway again. Whoa, brakes, brakes, brakes. Oh, I'm glad the guy behind me was paying attention. So I missed the brakes. Yeah, definitely a few close calls on the way over here, but it wasn't too bad. Okay, so... Adding to our 106,000, we may end up with... Could we add another 40,000 liters? Maybe, I don't know. That was 13. If I get another 13 off there, that'd be 26, 39. Yeah, possible. Yep, 78,621. I like the header that we had on here. That was pretty cool. Very transportable. I had a really good one on um, on Comlands. And then uh, for whatever reason, when I was kind of just playing around with it before before I start, started playing, like recording or whatever, it seemed like it was fine. And then, uh, and then you know, when it, when it mattered, it was became super heavy. So I don't know, maybe I screwed something up. We'll take this other route, but uh, but yeah, I guess it's gonna be worth coming back. We'll come back and get that extra 9,000 liters. I had a crazy idea too when I was cruising around. I'm like, maybe we should just purchase a grass field. We're, we're you know, essentially gonna be, by the time we get paid for this contract, we, we would almost have enough money for some of the grass fields that I've seen anyways. If we did a couple loads of, um, a couple more loads of wood, then we'd have enough money for a grass field and then we could mow that take the take the grass off and then uh i don't know what we do with that i mean we could turn it into silage and then sell it for that we could turn it into silage and I'd, i just i'd love to get that i'd love to get that mini bga that'd be a total flex this early on throw that in the woods there and then uh well, it'd be amazing it all it takes root crops so one of the one of the um productions we could put in is literally root crops it's potatoes and beets and then we could fire those potatoes and beets right into the to the uh to the to the mini bga That's maybe not a bad idea actually it's funny when you say things out loud all of a sudden they they start to sound really good i just i, I just can't help but uh be concerned over the winter what what what's gonna happen <laughs> i bet you like see that field right there i don't know what is that corn 
over there. Um, I, I bet you uh, that we'll see, so this is October, this is the first day of October. I bet you when we roll into the second day of October, we're gonna see a whole bunch of um, like corn and sunflower pop up for, for contracts. Cause I'm seeing, I'm seeing some bigger fields as I drive and I can see that they're ready. They look like they're ready to harvest. And I'm pretty sure these farmers aren't out harvesting their fields. That was, that was one thing that's, I think somebody said would, would be really cool to see in FS25, if that's what it's called, uh, would be, you know, if these farmers are gonna go out and they're gonna do the work in their fields instead of contracting it, well, they should show the farmers doing the work in their fields. It might be a nightmare. Like imagine you had 20 different tractors out doing work uh, in the fields, combines, everything. It, it could be, uh, it, it could really tax the, the game, but then also uh, from what I understand, the game will likely not be available on sort of the old the old generation uh consoles which is what's sort of holding holding up a lot of like really cool i don't want like so, so like stuff that would tax a system for, for for memory and graphics and that so if if trying to render all of these different vehicles moving around and everything was too much then maybe that's what's holding it back but I'm sure it would be cool so we're over thirty thousand liters now i think so it was worth it I mean, every 10,000 liters at max price is about uh, $1,800. So that's three, 40, was that 42-ish? What, what did I say? <laughs> it was $1,800. So it'd be three fifty four hundred dollars I guess. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, because I think we had 30,000 liters, it's like, it's over, it's about five grand, so in the, grand scheme of things we just picked up a basically a five thousand dollar bonus it's like doing a contract so if the contract's only going to pay you eight hundred or a thousand dollars but then you know you can make three hundred dollars extra on your uh the harvest bonus like the the additional crops that that were not required for delivery but you sold that combined with a with you know taking the straw off and selling it as a uh, silage or or perhaps you know, throwing it into the BGA to turn it into electricity. That's, uh, it's worth it. I took a peek as I was driving to see what else was available for contracts. And I think there's a couple soybean contracts. Let me look. All right. So we have these two plowing contracts at the bottom. Ooh, I wonder how big that one is. Plowing is not going to give us straw. We're hungry for straw. So beets, carrots, 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 beets, sugar beets. What? Red beets, sugar beets. Hmm, I didn't know there was a difference. Okay, but well, must be a tiny field here. Take it to the grain elevator. And another one for soybeans. Also, assuming it's a small field. First field is 67. Next field is 104. 104 looks like it's around here somewhere. 104, so that's right around the corner from us. 67 is right up in town there. Well, uh, I got nothing else to do, so let's bring our, no, let's leave this here. Let's get out of this thing so we don't land on our face again. Because we can't use this equipment. So let's go and accept, or let's go uh, collect, first of all. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, he's gonna charge us $262, and he's gonna charge us $110. So I think we're gonna go with this one. So there's a big field just up around the corner. I guess we'll hit that first, and then we'll go down to the uh, smaller field near our house. I've, I've like 99.9% .9 convinced myself to go get ourselves the 50, well, I'm gonna double check. I think it's $50,000 we need for the mini BGA and then we're gonna put that in our compound there, get the root crops going and start feeding it right in there. The guy's honking at me and I, I know he's there. Crazy little laneways and everything here. This this map really is kind of an adventure. I can appreciate that. Uh... It's 
Speaking of adventure, <laughs> knock knock, can I drive through your house? Okay, we can go around. Yeah, we're good. I'll have to test, like I wonder if you buy some of these places, can you remove all the buildings, for example? Because I mean, that is kind of a neat little island of a place right in the middle of all these fields. Is this it? That looks like a much better straw swath than we've been getting from the uh, from corn and sunflowers. So this might turn out to be a, a decent field for us. And we're really getting to drive all the little tractors today. This trailer seems a little bit large for this tractor, but it's okay. Yeah, we've driven little Z doors. Uh, this one's a Massey with the Kubota. Oh, I think we even had a, uh, it was a blue tractor, I think. <laughs> what the heck's the name of that? I have one on uh, Hinterland, Valtra. That was it. We've driven a Valtra also. Yes, yeah, big, big variety. Oh yeah, soybeans yield heavy, don't they? Meaning, don't you get a bunch of them? Right, let's get that forge wagon. Wow, if we could get through the woods right here and across the river, we'd probably be right by our house. Through the river. <laughs> Glad this isn't our tractor. Okay, let's not do that again. Oh man, for a second there, I thought we were done. That was not just a shallow little uh, creek, that was a river. All right, let's get out of here, oh my god. Okay, we're not doing that again. According to the map, this kind of looks like it goes right through. Oh shoot, no. Are we gonna get cut off by the river? Okay, this is like a back entrance to this farm. And the yard is fenced. Yeah, we shouldn't really be in here. All right, so that was not a shortcut. Cool spot though. Cut here. Yeah, we should be able to go through here. Let's just hope nobody's at the farm. Actually, I'm sure nobody is because I heard that uh, the farmer passed away a long time ago and it's been for sale ever since. What the heck? There's like a little swimming hole back here. Get me out of here. I'm like lost back here. Right, I know where we are now. That was by no means a shortcut. <laughs> that was definitely, that definitely added time. And this, this, uh, this episode started in September and now it's October and I'm kind of debating on whether or not we should just go right into the second day of October after we harvest a bunch here. Yeah, we were, if you think about it, we were so far away from the field trying to get up through that back way there. That was not uh, not gonna happen. I kind of knew it, but I don't know why I did it anyways. Probably because I could. Oh my God, I roll up and Buddy's already done? Yeah, see this is filling fast compared to the other 
the last two fields we did. I'll fill this, we'll go empty the uh, combine, we'll go deliver these soybeans. Then we'll get the uh, harvester over to the next field. We'll take care of the field, then we'll, we'll get the rest of the straw. I just want to get this thing filled once. Probably don't want to try to take the harvester through the shortcut. That'd be a nightmare, <laughs> it would never make it through the river. Let's see, uh, deliver to the grain elevator. I think that is what this is. Yes. Okay, so that's not too bad. I think what we'll do is we'll set, yeah, okay, we'll take the combine and we'll take this tractor with the trailer down here, down there now. I can get the uh, tractor to follow me down there. I'm gonna get this guy, let's get this guy emptied first and then we'll get him back over here. Then we'll take the combine over there and we'll get him working. I don't know, whatever. It's, there's no good way to do this. Oh, there it is. That is one heck of a building, actually. There's a main highway through here. Oh, okay, come on. That's not nice. You saw me coming. Yeah, wow, this is a uh, large building. Uh, let's hope in this dumps it doesn't hit the ceiling. Oh, you know what, if you think about it, I didn't need to actually dump this. I could have just taken this right over to the other field. Because I'm thinking the other field's a small one. Especially because it says we're now 67% transported. Alright, well anyways, uh, the other field I think was just down the street from us, so we'll go dump this trailer there now. Seeing a lot of these bicycles everywhere, do you think it's possible that the bicycles are collectible? Like, they're very colorful, I've seen them in the, basically the same colors as the collectibles. Placed sporadically around the map, sometimes laying down. It'd be kind of funny if, uh, if a map author made something that is otherwise normal or whatever, and, and, uh, and they made that the collectible. Okay, step one, a lot of driving around. Well, this is gonna be a good field for straw. Guaranteed. Okay, let's go get this beast. Yeah, that's a tough, that's a tough field to get in and out of. Okay, let's hope for the best. Buddy's behind us, that's good. Alright, little man's still coming. There's <laughs> so many cars back there. Oh, did he get past? <laughs> that's so aggressive, man. Okay, there's nowhere to go here, so if there's a car coming, I'm screwed. Alright, it opens up. Here it opens up, so we should be alright. Whew, that would have been a tough spot to hit, find another car. Okay, so when we get to... The, when we get over the hill here, somehow I need to... Jump out, grab the other tractor, shove it down the road, and then keep on going. So we'll see how that goes. All right. Yo, lady. Stop trying to pass this guy. There we go. It's pretty smooth. Now if I can fit through this this little laneway here, we'll be even better. Yeah, you don't want big equipment here. 
you may want it, but you're not going to use it. <laughs> That's telling me the contract on this field's 36% done. It's just going to keep the field so small, it's probably going to flash me a new uh, number every couple seconds. Contract on field 104 finished. So this we'll definitely get a bit of a um, a bit of a bonus in uh, in some of the crop, like the soybean, when we go to sell it. All right, this guy's just got to dump this, and then we'll go empty empty the combine and get that delivered. So we should be able to go through here. I can see our destination off in the distance. That's got to be like that's a massive, massive complex. Easily the biggest building on the map. I find this to be a funny entrance for this massive uh, complex. It's like just this tiny little entrance with these sickly looking little pine trees. Okay, what's our bonus? Ooh, $470. So $440, I guess? After you factor in the, uh, the penalty. Yikes. Um, all right, I'm gonna bring this trailer back with me just in case something else pops up. You never know. But the cool thing is we're right next to our house, so the stuff that we pull off this field, um, it'll be a really short drive to empty it. I'm thinking we sort of hit the jackpot with this swath because it's quite, uh, quite husky. <laughs> There's a lot of it. We're uh, we're gonna end up with a lot of straw. <laughs> oh yeah. We're... Oh my gosh. All right. I think I'll be. Uh, I think you know the drill. I'll check. I'll check in when we get to the next field. I'll get what I can off of here, and and I don't think I'm gonna count the loads this time. We're just gonna know that it's a lot. Ooh, okay. We're just getting the last of this field here, and we'll go deliver this into the fermenting silo, and then that'll pretty much be it for the harvesting and straw collection for today. So definitely something that would make my life a hell of a lot easier would be a bigger forge wagon. Oh my god. The trips back and forth are brutal. I'm making no friends on the road because I'm not I'm just going like oh, it's just been that has been uh, that's been hard. I'll tell you that much. Oh god. It's called driving simulator. But anyways, yeah, I'm not uh, I'm not complaining. I'm just uh, making a note of I need I need a better way to cart this uh, this uh, straw or I mean, if we buy a grass field and mow it and then we want to put stuff into the fermenting silo, that's going to be hard at some point. Similar to uh, the playthrough in Comlands, if we have, you know, multiple farm activity in multiple areas, then we'll probably have you know, fermenting silo specifically for, for a field or something. Right. But man, this is crazy. This, this, uh, soybeans are a good, good, uh, straw provider. All right. Who wants to take the shortcut through the river? Great. I'll meet you. I'll meet you back there. Anyways, we're, so when we started the day, I want to say we had about a hundred thousand liters of, uh, of silage. And now between the silage that's already fermented and the straw that's uh, that's to be fermented, we're I think now over 200,000. So we did manage to find another 100,000 liters today, which is good, which is another $18,000 basically at the high at the high number. Spring's gonna roll around. We're gonna be able to buy some good property. So uh, I gotta stop saying that because you know what? That's that is if we take the silage and sell it at um and we sell it as silage but i'm gonna put in that mini bga i'm gonna i'm basically 
I, I don't may, we may either do that as part of the next episode because in all honesty if there's nothing to harvest I kind of need stuff to do so I might uh, I might between episodes just sell off the rest of the logs that are on the ground so we have the money and then uh, and then we'll do a build um, we'll do a bit of a build when we come back and obviously the, I'm sure there'll be some more contracts to do but we'll we'll make sure we got a kind of a leveled pad and we'll put the BGA in the forest there and uh, so we'll continue making that forest a bit of a hub of activity. So which which means I kind of want to make my farm down this way. But I, actually, that one pad that I thought I liked is down here anyway. So that, that'll be handy. Then we just got to start buying fields. I, I didn't see any other contracts. It's just beets and uh, and carrots, really. Beets, potatoes, carrots. That's, those are the contracts. So we got 6,500 liters in here. Yeah, okay, we might as well watch it. Yeah, we're, we're, we're doing pretty good. I think we, we probably pulled about 120,000 liters of straw off today. <laughs> 400 and 1,200 dollars. So we're gonna make about 1,600 dollars. But um, at face value, but, but there's about 18,000 liters of straw that we got today. <laughs> oh, that was from the other from all of the, the uh, contracts, but, whew. All right, what on earth did we do today? So we had, maybe we didn't do a lot. I know I've been recording for a long time, so I can, can only assume that we did a lot. And uh, we'll see when I make the edit. Let's check our stocks right now, and then we'll uh, sort of just rough fit the BJ so you can see kind of what I'm thinking. So, okay, so our oats are now $2,700, so that's, who cares? This stuff doesn't matter, sunflowers doesn't matter. We're not gonna sell this as silage, but right now it's worth $21,000. It's not counting the straw. The oils are going to be great. Like as long as we're producing oils, uh, they're going to add up fast. I mean, look, we've got three thirty-eight hundred liters in oil, and we've got fifty-four, what eighty-five hundred dollars in in uh, in income there. So that's going to be a win. And then grape juice is. You know, grape juice is good also. So yeah, these are these are going to be good for us. Uh, we don't have a sell point yet. We're going to have to set up a sell point for the tomato sauce and the mixed salad. Um, and then we'll see what these are worth because right now that's not registering in here. Uh, it's funny that it's telling us what the max price is over here, though, because there's no sell point. But anyway, so at high value, all of this stuff's worth $45,000, but we know that's not a real number because some of this stuff's going to get sold a different way. Add that to this pile of wood, all the trees that we're going to just, we're just going to strip this entire <laughs> entire place and, and turn it into a bit of a, uh, a money-making hub for us. And then we'll go off and have our happy farming life while we try to find a million dollars to put in the bank and pay off the loan that we've been slowly making payments on. Uh, no, we haven't been making payments. We've been we've been paying interest on it, loan interest, four eight. Why is it more? Why is it eight hundred dollars that month? Because of two days. So that means so we're going to be paying about eight hundred dollars in interest again. So yeah, we'll want to get that paid off. Obviously, I uh, hope you're enjoying the pain and suffering because there's a bit of pain and suffering here, anyways. But you know what? It's mostly fun. So thanks so much, guys. Leave whatever comment you want, man. If you haven't subscribed, I, I think it's I think it's like I, I swear most of the time you hear like eighty percent of you aren't subscribed. Well, I'm, in my case, I think it's like fifty fifty. So I think I think that's probably a good thing, right? That fifty percent of you guys have actually decided to subscribe, which is really cool. Uh, we just got to get the other fifty percent on board. So those those of you who've subscribed, go work on those people that haven't subscribed. Let's get them on board. All right, thanks guys. Take it easy. Ciao.